Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. And I'm Dash. And today we are doing DJ Cahill's video for the Collectors of the Coast promo booster box. And we are wishing you all kinds of luck. Uh, we are looking for some big pulls that we haven't had yet. We're still looking for our Mana Crypt. We're still looking for our, uh, uh, what do they call them? The uh, Lifelands from uh, Ravnica, uh, the Ravnica sets. Uh, I'm sure this is the one we're going to get them. So good luck. A uh, couple of quick notes while we're talking. Um, I do want to do this again uh, sometime soon, so watch for that. If you did enjoy it, uh, I will definitely I will send probably an email out to everybody who did do this before, probably the day before I announce it uh, publicly that we're going to do it again. Uh, the next one, we will want to have uh, some of the Ikoria set in, I believe. Uh, we're getting close enough that probably a couple of weeks we would do it, so um, we'll probably have some Ikoria cards in there. So that'll be probably just a little bit extra fun. Um, Depending, I, I think I'm getting some early. So if I do it early, I might even just announce it early, and I'll and I'll have in my loose in the loose packs. We'll have some Ikoria cards, and and I will make sure to do them fast, and and so you can maybe even get them before May fifteenth if we get them early. So, um, we're we're kind of on the watch. We could get them any time now. So hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. That's I think the first day we can get them. Um, but uh, it might be as long as mid to late next week. So, everybody, uh, stay tuned. All right, DJ, here we go. We're going to get into our Throne of Eldraine uh, Collector's Box. All right, looks like you got lots of stuff in there. So we've got our, first of all, we've got our loose cards, loose cards our Collectors of the Coast pack. So I'm going to put those to the side. We've got a War of the Spark pack. you got Dominaria. We've got a Iconic map. Ooh, good packs. All good packs. All right. Yeah. Oh, so what's it? War of the Spark. Okay. And then Dominaria, then Iconic Masters, then Modern Horizons. Okay. Yeah, so you got They're... some premium packs in here, so. Yeah, you got really good packs. All right, so we're going to go into uh, the War of the Spark. All right, so we're into our Teferi's Time Twist. Not a bad card. All right, so we've already pulled from War of the Spark. We already pulled Teferi. So what are the chances we get two two Teferis in this? Mm -hmm. All right, Bloom Hulk. He's pretty good, actually. A little 4-4 pro proliferate creature. All right, so you got your Lazlis Teps Plating. Heartwarming de uh, Detention. Uh, discard all cards from your hand, then draw that many cards plus one. You gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Not bad. Vas Vraska's Swarm Eminence. Uh, not a bad little planeswalker here. Whenever a creature you control, uh, whenever a creature you control with death touch deals damage to a player or planeswalker, put that put a one one counter on that creature, uh, and then minus two you can create a one one black assassin creature token with death touch. And whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. That's a pretty nice little uh, little card and a legendary card as well. So you get yourself a uh, human advisor, Tomic, distinguished. Advocist. Uh, flying 2-3 creature for 2, which is pretty good already. And then lands on the battlefield and land cards in your graveyard can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Your opponents can't play land cards from graveyard. So actually a nice, nice card. He is a yeah. nice little 2 for 2. And, and great in devotion, uh, white devotion as well. So really nice. All right, that's a pretty good start. Pretty happy with that overall. All right. So the question is, we've got two left. Are we going to have a home run pack opening? We've had, by my counts, we've had two that I would consider absolutely great pack openings. Um, we've had another two or three that are, uh, you know, I would say were really, really solid. Uh, and then we've had a couple that were, you know, kind of right around value. And then a couple of uh, a little, you know, a little disappointing for, for me. Uh, anyway, Dominaria we're on now. Adventurous Impulse, a really good green card. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in your order. So really nice, uh, common, very playable. You know, not big money or anything like that, but uh, that's okay. They can't... Oh, Skizik! So Skizik, for three and a red, you get a 5-3 creature. It has Trample and heist, Haste, and at the beginning of your end step, if Skizik wasn't kicked, sacrifice it. Uh, if you pay the kicker, it can stick around for a while. Yeah. 
Howling Gollum. And I see something fancy behind that. I see Moldrotha the Grave Tide. We got a commander, folks. All right. So we've got during each of your turns, you may play one, up, play up to one target, one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Wow. Nice commander. And we got a foil behind there. Rise of Belleneth. We got a two, we got a mythic and a rare foil pack. Wow. Uh, great. You know, the third one in this one is you get a 6-6 six, six demon creature token with flying, and at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice another creature. If you can't, this creature does 6 damage to you. Really interesting. Great pack. Wow! We got an, Ug an Ugaros Uncommon at the end as well. Wow. And a Saperlene token oh, to boot. So, so that is an absolute bomb of a pack. Saperling is so cute. There's Saperling. Yeah. <laughs> he is funny. He looks so funny. So <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, we're on to our iconic masters. So we've had some great pulls out of iconic masters. Uh, really, a car set that I think is going to go up. Uh, it was not really appreciated in its time, but there's some great cards in this. Um, so we've got an emerge unscathed, a mass. The components draw three cards and put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. Got a uh, scorpion and Tuco Shaman. Uh, he, so this guy you get a you get a three two, but if it nice the battlefield when you control no on no tapped lands, you get to draw a card and you can play do suspend on them. So you're not too bad. All right, Heat Ray, Guardian Idol, Dirkwood Ballath, Fury Charm, Claustrophobia, uh, White of Precinct Six. Oh, he's pretty nice. So he gets plus one one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. That is a really fun to play common. Wow. Oh, I love that. All right, I'll put that to the side. All right. Uh, Bubbling Cauldron. Uh, so you can gain life by sacrificing creatures. You got an Electrolyze, which is not a bad little uh, blue red spell. Get yourself Condescend. A nice, nice, nice uncommon counter spell. Not only do you get to counter a spell, you get to scry too. Lord of the Pit, classic demon. Beautiful. All right. Flying Trample. Cost seven. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature other than him. If you can, he deals seven damage to you. Cool. Not Yeah, and to, by today's standards, he's he's just okay. But uh, this was once a just a home run pull. Uh, it was big back in the day. I mean, seven, seven flying trample creatures just didn't exist. Uh, so uh, really nice, uh, nice to see that. Oh my goodness! Wow, that that might be the best card we've pulled in all of our boxes. Foil. Wow. Either vile. Oh my goodness! Wow. <gasps> DJ, wow. you are going to be a happy fellow when you see this video. So uh, I, I hope you put like nine comments on your on in the comments. <laughs> wow. It is a creepy looking one too. There's kind of like this face thing peeking out. Yeah. Wow. wow. That is awesome. You still got three packs to go, buddy. Wow. Either vial. I'll give you ten bucks for it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Oh, that was that was incredible, man. So. Yeah. That was. Crazy. And you got yourself a flying Dijin monk, which is really fun and creepy looking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on to Modern Horizons. We still haven't pulled a Ren, uh, Ren and not Modern Ren and Six. Yeah, Ren and yeah, Six Ren out of Modern Horizons. If you get a modern, if you get a Ren and Six, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> wow, wow. So we're starting with a foil token. Wow, a construct. foil construct token. <laughs> wow, and the creepy frog. Oh my art. gosh, that kind that of is like the one Gitchog of the monster. cooler looking yeah. arts from this. So put that to the wow. side. All right, so we're going to put this to the bottom. I don't know. I never do this right. All right. So you got a, uh, a gambit here. This is always, uh, if you got to play, it's always nice to have one destroyed land card in your deck. You never know when people have lands you just can't deal with. So it's not a bad one. All right, so we'll go quickly through these. Man of War. Uh, it can be good at time. Look at Spore Frog. So, so you get to return a creature to its owner's hand. So he's, he's pretty nice. I like Spore Frog. So recruit the worthy, buy that card, scour all the possibilities. We've got a snow forest. 
Oh, he got another foil? Jeez, did we get two fo two foils in the same freaking pack? Wow. Uh, wow. So, very nice. He is beautiful. I love the art on this guy. He's playing like a, fighting like a phantom himself, I think. All right. Collected Conjuring. So, two, a blue, and a red. Exile the top six cards of your library. You may cast up to two sorcery cards with converted mana cost three or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Put all exiled cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in any random order. That is a really nice card. You got a Forgotten Cave and Exclude and a Talisman to boot. Uh, very nice. All right. Not quite the home run of the last pack, but I mean, still a nice card. All right. So we've got our Mystery Booster left which we've had numerous $10, $20 cards out of these mystery boosters. Uh, so I wonder what we get. Still yeah. haven't got our Mana Crypt. We're still looking for... Oh, if you get a Mana Crypt, oh my goodness. All right. Let me go fairly quick through these. So uh, we got some commons here. Skitter Eel, uh, Convolute, Plague Crafter, which has been really good for me. We've been playing lately out of Ravnica. I, I don't know. This should be a, a two, uh, 50 cent card if it's not. Uh, crippling fatigue, crippling blight. Sorry, grape shot, uh, storm card, useful card. Okay, uh, blur of the blades. Don't see anything that I, stands out to me as great. Uh, when this dies, draw a card. So not bad for a one-three creature. All right, so we got a Tadger War Caller. Uh, this uh, girl looks intense. That's uh, flying in here. Some kind of flying witch or something. Yeah. Uh, when when Tajaru or another ally enters the battlefield under your control. Creatures you control get plus two, two till end of turn. It's a pretty nice card. Hammer dropper, mentor card. All right. Heavy arbalist. Uh, equipped creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Equipped creature has tap. This creature deals two damage to target creature or player. Equip four. Mm, hard to play that for a lot of use unless you got a lot of mana. All right. Timely reinforcements. All right, and you got an Aether Flux Reservoir. So, whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you've cast this turn. Pay 50 life. It deals 50 damage to target creature or player. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fun card to play. If you have, a, if you put that in a deck... You gotta love these mystery boosters. You just don't know what you're gonna get. That is such a funny card. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, that's fun. All right. And you've got yourself a foil... Herald of the Leshrac, he's a flying 2-4. He's got cumulative upkeep, gain control of a land you don't control. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> uh, he gets plus 1-1 one, one for each land you control but don't own. And when he leaves play, each player gains control of each land. Wow, he's a pretty fun card to play. Wait, what? What's the last part? Uh, when he leaves play, everyone gets their lands back. Oh. But you're gaining land. He's a land control card. That's a pretty sweet card. That's a fun card. It is. All right. So we're going to go through our uh, mystery pack now. Uh, so we've got an old mountain. So this is from 1995. So I think this is 5th edition mountain. So very nice. Beautiful. So different. I like the old style of the, the lands. All right. Queen of the Ice. Bell of the Brawl. Bognati. Forever Young. Lost Legion. Uh, Flummox Cyclops. Whipgrass and Tangler. Dragon Fangs. <laughs> Once upon a time was played quite a bit. Uh, Voltaic Servant, Touch of the Void, Goblin Sky Raider, Lava Mincer Skill, Pinpoint Avalanche, Skitter Eel, all right, Raktos Roundabout, Anvil Rot Raptor, Hornet Sting from M11, Underworld Fires, so you got a Uncommon from Theros Beyond Death, you got yourself a Foil Mountain, and you got yourself an Emery Lurker of the Lock, not too shabby. Creepy gal holding the sword there. So this is from King Arthur's Sword of the Stone, I believe, this image. And it's the idea that she's holding the King Arthur's Sword. And the Lady of the Lake. It's a very cool card. All right, so you had a great opening. That either vial is an absolute bomb. And you know what? I'm going to put that front and center when we go through these. So you got a mountain. you got a Herald of Leshrac. You've got an either Flux Reservoir. You got Collected Conjuring, Talisman of Conviction, Foil Construct, uh, Lord of the Pit. Uh, this guy, I don't know what he's worth anything, but I really like the card. I, I don't own them, and I, I feel like I want to get four of them for a deck. Uh, you got Moldatha, who's quite good. You got a Foil, 
Foil Rare, right? A Belzenock, or Belzenlock, beautiful card. You got yourself a Raska. Uh, again, Tomic, really nice card. Uh, a Foil Mountain and Emery Lurker of the Lock. So congratulations, DJ. Uh, I think you might just have the best opening yet. Uh, it'll be interesting when we total them up. Uh, everyone have a magical day.